Historically, uh, chemotherapy in this patient cohort, patients with relapsed refractory ALL, usually have an overall survival of four months. Uh, Belintumab has shown in a phase two trial a single agent to lead to an overall survival benefit in a single um, study of 6.1 months. So the aim of the study was now to do a head-to-head -head comparison and it was a two-to-one randomization linked to standard chemotherapy in patients relapsed uh, refractory ALL. The key finding of the study is that Lintumab uh, almost doubles the overall survival of patients with relapsed refractory ALL from 4.0 months to 7.7 .7 months in this study. With this phase three trial randomized with a time sensitive endpoint of overall survival, in my mind, uh, Bluntumab has established itself as being the therapy of choice in patients with relapsed refractory ALL. I think of importance is that this drug can be given most of the time in an ambulatory situation. So it's very attractive to a patient relapsing after a standard chemotherapy.